What's going on YouTube? This is Jake from Your Daily Duty and earlier today I did an unboxing of my Blue Beats by Dre Studios and I said I was going to try to do a review and I've decided to do that uh, now. And um, so let's just hop right on into it. Uh, Thomas, he, um, he, I guess he did an unboxing on our channel as well of his salt solos. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so, and it kind of shows some diversity of our channel as well. We don't just do, um, you know, uh, gameplay videos on our channel. We're going to try to be more diverse and we haven't made a video in a while. So we're trying to get some more up, but let's get into it. So if you saw the unboxing, you know what it came with, but first things first came with this nice, um, traveling case and it protects your beats pre pretty well. I mean, um, if you drop it, you should be okay. Um, zippers, got a beats logo and a, um, clip like a, for, if you want to attach it on something. So let's just open this up. Flips right open, and there's the headphones themselves. One sec, and um, comes with uh, some cables. One with a mic and um, audio control on it. The other, uh, just a plain monster cable, which is the one I'm using right now. And inside here, inside the the protective um, case, comes with this little pouch, so you could put um, your wires or pr pretty much whatever in in there. And the pouch comes out, so you could put something else in there if you want. And so let's just get to the headphones themselves. All right, so. I I couldn't do a full re review obviously right when I un unbox them because I didn't have enough play play time with them to um, to actually give a, a opinion um, are they worth it um, and all of that good stuff so let's just get into it right now I really like the color I got this blue a dark blue and um, it's it's I don't know there's just something about it just really just kind of pops and um, kind of gets away from that kind of boring, uh, like, pretty. I, I think that the black ones and the white ones are just kind of plain and boring, so I think that the blue ones kind of get you away from that. Because uh, I did used to have some <clears throat> black solos, and um, they broke, so I got these for my birthday. Anyways, Beats logo. Uh, Beats logo right there. By the way, going back to the Beats lo logo, that really is a big portion of what you're paying with these head headphones. It's the it's the style, and um, you're paying for the name and the logo. The, the, I mean, the sound quality is still the best of of the best, but um, there's a lot a lot um, of other headphones that have. Uh, just as good quality, or maybe even better, for um, a little cheaper or a lot cheaper, depending on the brand. Um, so Beats are really mainly uh, as high priced as they are because of their looks. So I'm going to say some pros and cons. So I guess I will do the bad news first. So bad bad news. With the studios, they actually take AAA batteries, which can be really annoying that your headphones, the bad, the battery can ac actually die. There's a switch right here, and it powers them on and off. There it is. It's, it's got a red light, and it's on. And um, it can be really uh, annoying, and uh, the ones that came out of the box for me were like halfway dead. I have no idea why. Um, so it was kind of, kind of annoying, but you're always going to want to, in your case, probably pack some extra triple A's. It can be really, really, really annoying, but how you take it off is on the actual cover right here, or this, this, this logo part of the headphones actually comes off. It's not the side with the power on, on switch, but it's the other side right here, and you just have to rotate it 
just like this, and it pops off. If I can get this. There we go. So it just pops off just like that. The cover, the logo, and the battery compartment is exposed. So I, I, th I, I don't know why. I find that to just be kind of cheap that they run off of batteries. I don't know if they could have made these headphones with them not running off of uh, bat batteries like, like that. I honestly have no idea if they couldn't then. Not too much to <clears throat> complain about because it couldn't do anything, but I, I wish these could just be powered uh, maybe by, maybe even by like a um, charger, like you could charge these instead of a AAA. And for the comfortability, very com comfortable headphones, very, very nice. Um, the cushions are extremely nice. This uh, leather here and then like a really cushiony... Um, can't even explain the the material. Feel, feels like a really nice couch, and um, <clears throat> they feel they feel good when they're around your neck too. If you if you just um, I know it's kind of douchey, but if you're walking around with them around your neck, it's pretty com comfortable like that too. Um, the sound on, on these are really good. Like I, I said, lots of bass. Like the uh, the headphones pr pretty much shake when they're on your head when they are. Um, it's turned up pretty high. So, going around the headphones right here, Beats by Dre, Studio, and the same thing. Um, so, pretty good headphones. Not too much different from the solos, but the, but you can you can definitely tell a difference in the quality and in the look uh, between both. And I was gonna try to um, get my iPad and play some music through this and so you could hear how loud these things go but I don't have my iPad on me so I will do a um, sound video at some point um, I'm not sure when though and then the great feature about Beats obviously is how compact they can get you, just, you get to just fold them up like, like this and it's really con convenient when you put it um, you put them in the case them, uh, themselves, and um, just the whole the whole package that uh, Monster ha and Beats have in included um, really is good qual quality. I mean, because you're not just getting the the headphones; you're getting some higher end um, some higher end attachments and and cords, and uh, you're getting a nice case and cleaning cloths and uh, different things of that nature, and they, they really are made of good quality head, headphones, they're not, um, you know, just standard, just crappy, they're, um, they're really comfortable, and they've made these with pretty good materials, and, um, they look pre pretty good too, pretty good birthday pre present, and, um, I'm glad that I got these, now, for the final question, is, is it worth it, um, really, it's all up to, to, preference. Do you prefer qual quality or do you prefer looks? Or a little bit of both. So, I mean, for instance, Skull Candy, their quality of headphones, sound-wise, is really not too high up there. They're really not that good. Um, but they, they, uh, they, they look cool. With Beats, they look really cool and re really good quality, too. Um, but that's going to put the price up a lot on them. But <clears throat> you could get a better brand, or not not a better brand, but a different brand, um, maybe like Bose or or something like that, and have pretty much the same quality, if not even better. For um, some some of them are cheaper than uh, Beats. So it really all just comes down to um, who like what you like as a person and. Um, if you're willing to spend um, what whatever it is on beats, what whether you're getting solos or um, studios or detox or mixers and so on, but pretty good qual quality um, overall for me. These were worth it uh, just because I was looking for good looking head headphones with great qual quality, and I've had beats before, 
great pro product. Definitely recommend it. Um, thank you for watching this review, guys. Uh, be sure to leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. Check out um, my unboxing and Thomas's unboxing, please. Um, it really helps us out. And uh, so thank you for staying tuned. See you guys.